Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's close to all our hearts, relationships. But we're not just talking about butterflies and grand gestures. We're going to explore how an ancient philosophy, Stoicism, can actually strengthen your connections with partners, friends, and family. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or becoming a robot. It's about cultivating self-awareness, resilience, and reason all qualities that can lead to healthier, happier relationships. So let's unpack seven ways stoicism can take your relationships from good to great. 1. Manage your expectations. We all enter relationships with expectations. Maybe you dream of a perfectly balanced division of chores, or you expect your partner to always be your biggest cheerleader. The problem? These expectations can set us up for disappointment. Stoicism teaches us to differentiate between what we can control, our own thoughts and actions, and what we can't, other people's behavior. Example, you can't control if your partner forgets to take out the trash and dwelling on it just creates frustration. Imagine the ancient Roman Stoic philosopher Epictetus reminding you, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By focusing on what we can control, like calmly reminding our partner about the trash, we avoid disappointment and cultivate a more peaceful dynamic. Two, practice active listening. Effective communication is the cornerstone of any strong relationship. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of virtue, and a key virtue in relationships is justice. This translates to fairness and empathy. Here's where active listening comes in. It's more than just passively hearing someone speak. Put away distractions, make eye contact, and focus on the other person. Try to understand their perspective even if you don't agree. This builds trust and fosters deeper connections. Imagine this. Your friend is going through a tough time at work. Instead of launching into advice, which they might not even want, practice active listening. Ask clarifying questions, acknowledge their feelings, and simply be there for them. This shows genuine care and strengthens your bond. 3. Embrace the power of patience. Relationships are a journey, not a destination. There will be disagreements and misunderstandings. It's easy to get swept up in the heat of the moment and say something hurtful. Stoicism teaches patience. Don't expect instant solutions. Take a deep breath like a Stoic reflecting on the virtue of reason. Remember, the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius once said, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. By approaching conflicts with a calm and rational mind, you can find solutions that work for everyone. 4. Cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can transform our relationships. Stoicism encourages appreciating the good things in your relationships, big and small. It's easy to take our loved ones for granted, but taking time to acknowledge their efforts can make a world of difference. Here's a stoic practice. Think about three things you appreciate about your partner, friend, or family member each day. Maybe it's your partner's sense of humor, your friend's unwavering support, or your family member's thoughtfulness. Expressing this gratitude, verbally, or through a kind gesture, fosters positivity and strengthens bonds. Five, focus on what you can offer. Relationships are a two-way street. Stoicism reminds us to focus on what we can offer, not just what we expect. It's not about keeping score, but about contributing to the relationship in a meaningful way. Be supportive during challenging times. Celebrate your loved one's successes and be reliable. Think about it this way. If your friend is feeling overwhelmed, offer to help with errands or simply lend a listening ear. By focusing on what you can offer, you create a sense of security and trust within the relationship, and the rewards will follow naturally. 6. Forgive and move on. Holding on to grudges and resentment is like carrying a heavy weight around. It only burdens you. Everyone makes mistakes, and dwelling on past hurts hinders your ability to build a positive future. Stoicism promotes forgiveness. It doesn't mean condoning bad behavior, but letting go of negativity for your own peace of mind. Imagine this. Your partner forgets an important anniversary. You have every right to be upset, but holding on to that anger for weeks or months creates distance. A stoic approach would be to communicate your feelings calmly, listen to your partner's apology, and choose to forgive. This allows for healing and a fresh start, strengthening the relationship in the long run. 7. Accept what you cannot change. Some things in relationships are simply beyond our control. A partner might have personality quirks that drive you a little crazy, or friends might have different life priorities than you. Stoicism teaches acceptance. Don't waste energy trying to change what you can't. Here, the wisdom of Epictetus applies again. 
Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one thing. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after we distinguish between the two that we can begin to find peace. For example, maybe your friend is naturally messy, and it clashes with your love of tidiness. Instead of constant nagging, which probably won't work anyway, you can accept this difference. Focus on the positive aspects of the friendship, and find ways to manage the clutter that works for you both. Stoicism isn't a magic bullet, but it offers a powerful framework for building stronger, healthier relationships. By managing expectations, actively listening, practicing patience and focusing on gratitude, forgiveness and acceptance, we can create deeper connections with those who matter most. Remember, relationships are a work in progress. As you integrate these stoic principles into your interactions, you'll likely experience some bumps along the road, but by approaching challenges with reason and resilience, you'll cultivate stronger, more fulfilling relationships that stand the test of time. We'd love to hear from you. How do you think stoicism can improve your relationships? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content on navigating life with a touch of ancient wisdom. Thanks for watching.